Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are here with the guys at Gibbs Key Marine to have a look at this rather lovely Porsche Blue Schaefer V33. Now this is the first time this boat's been in the UK. They're manufactured in Brazil. Gibbs are the sole importers. We've got a couple of them here. We've got the Porsche Blue one here, and then there's a charcoal gray one sitting next door. The difference between these two boats is this blue one here has twin outboards and the grey one has a single Volvo Penta D4 inboard. So you can see beautiful. This is a painted hull, not a wrapped hull. Let's go and have a look on board. So we start with the engines. A couple of Mercury 300s. Now that's going to give you something close to 50 knots, we believe. Beautiful open deck boat, although it does have a bit of sleeping and a heads on board. So let's get a look on board. To start with, you can see down here, there's a fold out swim ladder. Beautiful teak the whole way through the outside deck. Grab rail when you come on board, which equally doubles as a tow rail. So you can clip your tow lines on there, ski lines on there. First thing that greets you is this whole dining lounging area now as you probably imagine this entire area will fold down infill with cushions and give you a massive massive sun pad deck gates which is nice because it is quite an open back boat so it just stops children dogs whatever falling off when they're going along then you've got a really chunky deck shower and these beautiful Schaefer stainless steel cleats and also quite nice that these little rail lines that stop the lines rubbing on the painted hull very very wide decks if we just turn around and give you a view of that lounging area backwards as I say it's, it's a hydraulic table so the entire table folds down you can also fold the leaves up which give you a bit more space to get around grab handles and cup holders this backrest here will drop all the way down this backrest will fold forwards and give you a full lounging area. But what's also quite neat is you can drop this table, fold this section down like that, and then it gives you a little table because a couple of steps forward under this really quite decent size, chunky graphite hard top is the galley. But we'll come back to the galley in a moment. So underneath this entire deck area here is storage. Now because we're at a boat show, it's full of covers and bits and pieces, so we're not gonna dive down in there and have a look. But there is storage, if I fold this back up here, under these seats like so. So there you go, decent storage bin in there. And you've got the same under that one and the same, I believe, under these two here. So move forward to the galley, pretty straightforward. Just shift those two bits out of the way. Nice, big, self-supported cover on the galley, and then you have a sink, a little storage bin in there. And because these are made in Brazil, you could get pretty much, I would imagine, a fairly standard UK style hob in there. Isotherm fridge underneath, and then a couple of other Oh, look at that nice glass rack. And this one I'm guessing is a storage bin. Yep, there you go. But the quality of the mouldings and the way that they're finished, really, really very nice. So we'll fold that back down. The other thing that's quite nice is there's side bolstering, so you get a bit of support. Down here, fuel shutoffs. This is also really quite a clever idea. Little steps, so if you need to pop over the side, Stand on that and step over the side, and as you can see, it's illuminated. So the attention to detail is really, really very good. We'll take a quick walk around the deck, I think, first. So you can see on the front here, big, big sun cushions with armrests and cup holders. And also you can see it's quite nice as they strap on, because I would imagine at 50 knots, there's a fair amount of air charging over this deck. Again, nice grab rail right the way forward leads you to these chunky cleats again. Teak lined anchor locker hatch. Takes you down into 
oh it's an anchor launching system so this is really neat so the anchor pops itself over the bow so that when you're not using the anchor you have a really so we can see next door look on this one over here you have a really clean bow so when you're not using the anchor it's out of the way when you need it it pops forward obviously you can see anchor winch in there and then a quite a nice separated locker so the chain goes down that side but lines and fenders down this side should you want to let's close that back off stand up here for a sec and take a look back decent sized boat really decent size but a little window forwards here to get a bit of light in the fore cabin and also sort of an escape hatch or a ventilation hatch in there that takes you in should you want to go forward entry into the b berth as you can see speakers here there's an incredible uh, sound system on this boat if i duck down a little bit down here you can see then there's rods rod holders boat hook holders but that looks like they're pop-up covers that actually drop in i would imagine potentially to give you some shade over this area but i could be wrong so if we walk back again you can see the scale and the size of the stereo system with the subwoofers down here the fusion stereo is tucked away up here under this beautiful hard top and then you have all your lighting controls built into these switches over here now if we focus on the helm station itself as you can see there are two versions of the seats bolster up bolster down and also quite a clever idea because you've got two options on the seat there are two options on the footrests as well here's your helm station so really nicely finished cup holders bow thruster anchor winch gray marine um, axiom system this is the control panel for the outboards throttles and shifters what have we got over here radio mic rain room radio two ignitions and a, a switch for your kill cord and a very very stylish shaper steering wheel so that if you were sitting here appreciate it slightly into the sun but that's your view forward and you've got this really chunky solid decent laminated windscreen to protect you from anything that's coming along and throw the air over the top but also really nice solid moldings making it really easy to move around the boat and those side decks are close to vast so there you go that's the outside space let us go and have a peek down below and pop my shoes off nice big aperture to get down below decks sliding door Another lovely grab handle to help you back in. And then a couple of steps down. Takes you into the forward berth or the V berth. As you would imagine, quite logically, that section there will fill in with infill cushions and make it a, a proper full size berth. There's storage underneath, I believe, on the Vs. Yep, there you go. Usual boat show event, they're full. And actually, there you go, you can see the infill cushions in there. storage voids all the way along here windows out to the side deck so it's really quite nice actually you've got light but you've got privacy because the side deck is stopping people looking in there's a forward window we looked at from outside and there's a lifting hatch and if I just sit in here and take a quick peek at the back that's sitting at the head of the berth looking aft you can see there's a couple of storage cupboards over there there's a void there that bulkhead there separates us from the heads and then you have storage like I say in these cupboards here big storage bin in there same at the top and then some more storage cupboards down in here and a drawer and a little cutlery drawer in there another storage bin under the step and then over here we have the door the heads the way that they finished all of these moldings off in this sort of painted metallic gray is really gives it a really nice fit and finish and feel to it so pretty conventional heads in all fairness you've got an opening port light for ventilation full standing headroom so there's quite a lot of room in there loo self-draining floor 
and then as you can see pull out shower over there little functioning sink with a mixer tap standard soap dispenser and I would imagine cupboard under here yeah there you go cupboard in there little switch to flush the loo and a mirror to finish it all off so nice boat really really nice boat oh look there's another I think that, that locker there's for the life boy to be fair it's a surprisingly well finished office I say this is a new boat into the UK manufactured in Brazil shipped over here for Gibbs Key Marine there you go so I'll put all the details in below so if you've got any questions contact Gibbs Key Marine so thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed the tour and we'll see you next time round